This was Uma's first visit to Vashishkiri's hermitage, and she too was feeling its magic. In the West, you know, it's like uh, somehow the more one thinks, the, the more esteem one gets. While here it is what one thinks that is more important. So you can't think truth. You can only feel truth. You can see truth. You can be aware of truth. Belief doesn't really come from thinking. So that part of the mind that tries to think truth, that part one has to get rid of. I could see how Vishisht had been a guide for Uma in the uncharted world of the Sadhu. His unquestioning pleasure at whatever life throws in his power shows her how to find peace and love in the world. Well, love is the basic for life. Love is not only the basic in Hinduism. Love is life. Devotion is an expression of love. When you talk about love is unconditional. God is love. This is the life, Baba. You should live in the jungles with the demons, with the devils, na, with the ghosts. Then you are na, Baba. Living with the spirits, na, you have to feel them. Because nobody is going to harm you, na. Yeah, that's why you should not be afraid of anything. Ah, lots of scorpions there. Daily you want to turn on your wall, on your backside, on your making food wala jaga, many places, na? It is here, I will show you, my dear. Let me first position, otherwise he will come up on me only. But many scorpions in my this cave. That's why I love it. You see this? Where? You should have some fearless quality. <laughs> In my sleeping bag that night I wondered, was Vishishkiri just teasing or was he testing me? Next morning, Vashishki returned to the orthodox regime of the sadhu. I began to understand the importance of discipline and dogma on the path to enlightenment. All sadhus of Vashishkiri's monastic order cover their bodies in ash from their sacred fire, a penance to remind them to abandon the ordinary world of illusions. What is the meaning of the ash that you put on yourself every morning? And everybody has to turn into ashes one day. So why not beforehand you try to be just like ash? It makes you feelingless. The feelings are slowly, slowly being removed away from the body. No? That's why the saints, the yogi uses the ash. You remove all the worldly filthy things from the mind and just to remember that you are the just follower of Shiva. Making this to a sadhu is quite natural and part of his vows of renunciation, but complete nudity and all the attention that it attracts in public is not the right way to behave in India at all. There's nobody here. You can live naked. I live naked, man. Nobody is here. No woman comes here. I roam naked all day in the snow. Naga life, na? In Barkota, I can't roam like it because it's a city. People will say, Baba, you are so much educated, you speak English, and your behavior is like a jungle man. So, when he's in public, Vashishkiri wears a loincloth. He amusingly pointed out that he ties it with the same knot that a Western businessman uses for his necktie.
An orthodox sadhu should practice yoga every day. Without a fit and well-performing body, any attempt at improving the mind or the soul is a waste of time. What do these exercises achieve? This increases the abilities of your brain sometimes. If you know how to do it, know how to control your breath, otherwise it can disbalance your mind also. Many things, me. Eh? This exercise gives many, many things. I mean, you're talking about um, it preserves the balance of the mind. Yeah. Is there a danger in unbalancing your mind in some of the exercises that you do? Ah, this is called Buddha Padasan. Understand Buddha Padasan? No. Yeah, this is Buddha Padasan. Keeps your back straight, new energy in your body. You don't do any asan, do only Buddha Padasan. This is all giving all siddhis. But you have to do regularly, na? not only one day, once a week. Guru 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 Then Vishishkiri began an exercise that seemed utterly crazy. It looked as if he was going to crush his sexuality, deny his manhood, even torture the root of masculine desire and passion. Just to control your sense organs sometime, no? It gives some type of strength and increases your power a little bit. But I thought the whole point of uh, taking up sannyas was to deny your sexuality. You don't deny your sexuality rather than you use it. No? You don't try to use it. You keep it, you preserve it. It's not the thing that you deny everything. You accept everything, but you try to keep it. Because this energy is not for the waste. No? If you waste the energy, then from again, where will you get this energy? This is nothing we can get from the medicines. It will have to come from inside, no? For me, asceticism always appears to be an abject denial of the pleasures of the world, part of the Christian tradition of guilt and self-flagellation, but not for Vishishkiri. It's a positive way of developing his spiritual power, the ultimate goal of every Hindu holy man. Shishke found a prime location for his hermitage right beside the national highway. It overlooks the temple at the high point between the Ganges and the Yamuna valleys and everyone stops here to consecrate their journey. This gives them a basic income in exchange for the blessings that his little band of holy men give to passing pilgrims. Ganga Maya is the Ganga Nadi which is our mother. She 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 is our mother. We treat it as mother. So it's the whole thing from the beginning of the Ganga, from the Ganga tree. From the mountains, the Ganga starts and then it becomes a big river.